So the question I'm asking today, is it too late to get B or stay at the ready for the coronavirus? Well, I was never going to make this video because I didn't want to be a fear monger and capitalize on what's actually happening. But I had one of those aha moments and so uh, I'm going to answer that question. I'm going to answer why it's important to actually be thinking about this now, what it's showing us about ourselves. And so we're going to do that. We're going to take a hard look at us not out there in response to what's happening out there. But first, we're going to take a deep breath, and I am going to see you on the other side. The end of the world as we know it. It's, it's the end of the world as we know So as I just said, the last thing in the world that I want to do is to be part of the fear-mongering, clickbait, listen to me, I know everything, uh, party that happens here on social media. But then as I was thinking about what I was doing and how I'm thinking about the coronavirus, it occurred to me in one of those aha da moments, <laughs> everything that I talk about with primal human training, with everything about survival, just walk away, all the topics that I cover are for exactly this kind of moment in time. And just a few minutes ago, I saw the Drudge Report uh, headline saying the world's in lockdown, the stock market's crashing. So it doesn't matter what's actually happening with the coronavirus. What matters is that we, the world, are responding to what we are afraid is happening with the coronavirus. And it could peter out tomorrow. It could wipe everybody out. We just don't know. But just taking a deep breath and a step back, it made me realize that everything I'm doing is talking about exactly these kinds of moments. And the fact that I don't even want to talk about it with you because I don't want to be you know, part of the fear mongering just highlights how we disassociate and distance ourselves from even those things that we absolutely say that we're committed to knowing, learning, and understanding. And so there's two things that I want to address right here in this video. And one is to really answer that question, is it too late? The, qu the answer to that is no. Uh, the reality around getting ready, staying ready, being ready, and for whatever happens, regardless of which future outcome, everything that I've ever talked about is this kind of moment because the exact same things that you need to do to get be stay at the ready for just being healthy, happy, functional human being, whether it's health, whether it's aging, or whether it's hardcore survival, crisis, pandemic, sun nova, whatever, this is exactly what I'm talking about. And so the fact that even I don't want to talk about it with you just highlights for me how quickly we will dismiss what we don't want to know about. It's just one of those things. Because at the same time this morning, second thing that I want to talk about, you know, I'm having this huge response to my own internal work, which is the spiritual, what is the truth. And uh, and one of the reasons I've been struggling this last year is I don't like it. I don't want it to be true. And I am in all rage and fury against what is being unfolded in front of me. And what occurred to me just a few minutes ago is that's exactly the same thing that's happening on the world stage. It isn't what's happening out there that's important. What's real is how we respond to it and what we do with that as an experience. And so, uh, you know, while people are all over the internet looking for what's going on with the virus, how do I protect myself, how do I prepare, how do I defend myself, uh, those are all practical, legitimate questions. It's how we answer them and what we do with them that really will determine not just the course of our future within this pandemic that's starting to emerge, but the entirety of our lives as human beings. And so every skill set that I have been trying to share and not doing a very good job with sharing it is exactly for this kind of moment because this isn't the kind of thing that you buy your way out of. You cannot be safe within a pandemic 
if you have storable foods and you have a place to hide out. I mean, let's be honest, I don't have a single person within a square mile of me. If anybody's going to be safe in this pandemic experience, it's me. It's me and the cows, and as far as I know, the cows aren't catching it from any of the other cows in the surrounding area. So uh, just because I'm here in a physically safe location, it doesn't mean I'm going to be safe because eventually I'm going to have to leave. Eventually I'm going to have to go get food. No matter how much storable food you have, eventually there's going to be a reason why you have to leave the safety of your specific environment. And this whole idea of how to get, how to be, and how to stay at the ready, it's not preparing for something that's temporary. It's a state and a way of being forever so that when a crisis like this starts to emerge, you're not scrambling. You're not starting from scratch. You're not asking yourself questions like, well, what should I be doing? Because you've been doing them. And that's, I think, the hardest part for me to communicate with all of you is that we don't put value on the fundamentals and the basics. And I've told the volleyball story before, but when I played volleyball in high school, we were a beach team in Southern California. And so the surrounding cities were all really good because those girls have been playing since they were little tiny things on the beach. They could do the fancy stuff. They could do the, the techniques of scoring points and having fun with the specialty moves. We weren't that good. And nobody on our team wanted to practice the fundamentals. They just wanted the fancy stuff. They just wanted to win and they wanted to look good doing it. And we didn't win that often. It's not rocket science. And any kind of sport, any kind of mastery, from martial arts to sports to music, any kind of skill, there is never one day that you are not practicing the fundamentals. Just because you know how to walk that doesn't mean anything. Are your feet strong? Are your shoes proper? Is your body in the right position? Uh, are you maintaining muscle tone and balance because you're walking on a regular basis? Just because you can walk, it doesn't mean you're doing it right. And the essence of being human is to have correct posture and a strong body. But we don't think about that. We think about, oh, do I have enough to eat so I can survive a pandemic if I have to hide out? That's just what makes me crazy about this process is because we're so captivated by the story and the fear that we forget that survival in any situation is mastery of the fundamentals and the basics. Once upon a time, cowboys and wagon trains traveled across this very barren land with almost no materials and they survived because they understood the basics, how to make fire, how to uh, be physically fit enough to chop wood, how to cook uh, and gather what was wild. Most of us can't do any of those things. And it's not about survival in the let me go to survival school. It's about what do you as human need at a practical and a fundamental level to survive? So when you hear about uh, this terrible thing that's happening in China and you're on some kind of medication and 95% of the medications, I think is the last statistic I heard, come from China, where do you think your medicine's gonna come when the supply chain breaks down? So this idea that I can be safe in my home by hiding away and having enough food, that's the same kind of delusional thought system that people who are on the spiritual path have when they think that somehow it's going to be easy and I'm going to be enlightened if I hide out in a cave and I protect myself from everybody. We are not here to hide out. And while we are here, we are human. And if anybody thinks that this whole experience, whether it's the search for the deepest truths, to just having a normal life, to being faced with a very real issue right now in terms of pandemic uh, and, and health crises as an outbreak is occurring, that they say will stay with us for years. This isn't going away. If you think that you're ready because you, did a, you bought a few things, then you don't understand anything. And 
when I talk about these things, the goal is to bring value to what's important. It isn't to meet you where you're at and talk about what's important to you. I'm trying to share with you what the foundation, principle, and practices are to you as human, as which we all share. And if you don't care about yourself and you don't care about your family, you're never going to care about your community. And if you don't care about anybody in your community but yourself, what do you think is going to happen when you need somebody outside your door? So I'm not coming to you today to lower the hammer. Uh, what I'm coming to you today is just this huge slap in the face that I had about my own reaction to this idea of is this a real crisis? And the answer is absolutely yes. We are seeing a real crisis unfold. And that isn't meant to make you afraid, but sometimes we need that fear to get our feet moving. Because if you remember, the stress response to fear is that the blood rushes to your legs so you can run away. But this isn't something we can run away from. So we need to use that fear to motivate us not to run, but to get real. And that's something that you have to do every day for the rest of your life. And this is a moment that you can say, I'm not ready, but I can be. Maybe not perfectly, but each of us can do the best that we can. And so I'm gonna keep talking about this unless I get cut off, but this is a perfect example of why I talk about primal human training, why I talk about agility in self and systems of living. It's because we can't control what's happening out in the world. We can only manage who we are gonna be in response to it. And most of us aren't afraid of aging. Most of us aren't afraid of a disease that we don't already have. But if you're not afraid of what's unfolding around the world right now, you are not paying attention. And that is a psychological and emotional issue that is blocking you from seeing what's happening. And that's the decision, not the decision to just stay human, but the decision to take action in the face of fear, not because you can control it, only because you can do the best you can for yourself, your family, and your community. And with that, Let's hope that this video means nothing six months from now because that would be awesome. But we don't want to lose this opportunity as a wake-up call that something real is going on. And you can respond or you can go back to sleep. But either way, it's going to come knocking at your door. The only question will be, will you know what to do when that happens? This is Jill. We are walking on Survival Road. We're going to take a big old deep breath, and I will see you next time.